So earlier this spring, I planted out, I divided and planted out all these snowdrops. It's this big, huge snowdrop. A friend gave me a few a number of years ago. And what I did was um, I divided them up all over this bed here, this embankment that goes down towards the driveway. And these are all the snowdrops. They're huge, they have these huge leaves and they're very prolific. And last year, you can see this is a seed head. And they, um, I collected their seeds. For those of you who've been with me for a while, I collected the seeds and sowed them in a box. And the seeds came up this year. So now I've been planting them out. So there you can see one of the seedlings. So it'll be a couple of years before this area gets the snowdrops. This is the box that I've emptied and here are the seedlings. These are the snowdrop seedlings and I'm going to continue on this area. That's all ground elder which uh, I'm going to mow so that this will become a bank of grass hopefully and I can plant more pollinating plants. Here's celandine. That's a good thing right there. So this will be a bank of snowdrops going all the way around here of these big snowdrops. So I'm just going to sow the remaining ones right here. And it's very easy when the soil is um, so rich that they're in because they'll work their way deeper down over the years. So I'll just take it up. Okay, that's two on that. So I don't want to. So divide that off so you can see there's one, but I still have one here. And then I just plant it in like that. And there we go. And this one, I'll grab some extra of the potting soil. I'll put this baby in there. You can see the little baby bulblet right there. So I'll just tuck it in there and give it an extra bit there. Now this food, that will love, the ground elder, but it's for that. And after I mow the ground elder a few times, it'll stop coming up. These are a very old fashioned, oh no wait, actually those I think are daffodils. Those aren't the old-fashioned gladioli. We have loads of the old-fashioned gladioli. And you're being very helpful. I have two very helpful snowdrop transplanters, don't I? Yes. So this is what I'm doing today. And you can see there's a few daffodils that were here before I was sowing. So it's, there's the spade that I'm using as well. So I'll finish this job and next spring there'll be even more snowdrops. Isn't that right, pup? All the, and these little baby ones, the bulb will work its way deeper into the ground. So very exciting for next year. Actually, in two years time, it'll be spectacular. This whole bank will be awash in snowdrops. So that'll be fantastic.